Have you ever wondered if you validate or would like to validate some kind of user input? I mean, if the email address is okay, if it's formatted okay, if it matches some kind of passwords, so I mean, is it contain upper case letter or lower case letter, maybe some digits. And you are wondering if there is any NPM that will help us with that. And the answer is yes, of course, there's yep. And with yep, today we will work. So we will using yep, express, and of course, EJS to handle our front end. Okay, without any further ado, we should move to our note, sorry, Visual Studio Code. And inside our Visual Studio Code, we should just inside our folder, create the Node.js application. So first of all, npm init dash y, wait a few seconds. Of course, we'll also install, yep, express and ejs. That's all that we need to handle and to have. Okay. Also, I will provide you the style CSS to our application because we will not write all the CSS inside that episode. So we need to create the index.js file and inside that index.js file, we'll just make the require of express. Also, the next thing that we'll need is yap and we'll require yap to make it also happen. Then we will initialize our express application and we will also need to set our view engine engine with EJS that we just added to our packet.json so we installed it correctly. The next thing we will set the views folder as the folder that will handle and where our EJS file will be contained. And the almost last thing that we'll need to use. We'll need to use the body that will pass inside the post route. So to do that, as always, we make express that we are encoded, extended and false. And the last thing to use our CSS file, we should provide express that public and inside that pub static, sorry, static and inside that static, we will provide public. Okay. And with that, we created our must do and must have things. Okay. Right now we'll make some routes. First of all, we'll make the get route. So we'll provide request and response. And right there will, for example, render, um, it will be about maybe registration, registration. And we'll get the only errors. So if there are any error. Also, we'll need to create our post where we will handle our errors. So request and response. Also, we don't need, of course, to make it asynchronously. And oh, sorry, we need to, we have to, because we will be validating all the schema. And right there, we'll make try catch block where we will check if if it's okay. We will send the message, for example, registration successful. And if it's not, if there is an error, we will render registration, but we'll pass the errors there and it will maybe be um, error message. Okay. And then the last thing that we'll need to have is app.listen to start our application and console.log application is working. Okay. The next good thing will provide our, sorry, we need a folder with the views. And inside our views, 
we'll create the registration.ejs. And inside of that, we'll create the empty HTML file. And with that empty HTML file, we will link to CSS. So I mean, I will style that CSS that we provide inside our public. Remember to create that folder and copy the code that you will have in the description. Okay. And right now we should create some kind of application front-end file. So we'll start with our div with class container. And inside that container, we'll, for example, make registry registration form. The next thing that we'll have to do is if statement. So inside the EJS movie, I show you how it's working. So errors that length, and we check if there's an error inside of it. And to work it as it should, we should close it right there. Of course, we can close our if statement over here. Okay. And right there, we'll provide some kind of diff with class error. And inside that class error, we'll make list. And right there, we can copy that over there. Also copy that to close our if statement. And inside that if statement that we have there, is that we will just make errors that for each and we'll pass error over here. And right there, we also need to close the parentheses like that. And here, whoa, whoa, we'll only pass a lie with some error message. So that's all that we'll pass over here. And we created our if statement with our errors. Right now, we'll create our form. It will be very easy for with only method post, post inside here. And right there, we'll create label. For name, we'll need the name. And also we'll need an input message where type will be text, name equals name. Well, name should be here and ID equals name as well. Self-closing and right there we'll check if there is an error so you can copy and paste over there is that errors that name we can get the class error over there and with that you can copy and get the error we will just get it over here we close our div and of course and of course, we'll need to close our if statement. And in the same manner, we'll create also two more things. So, I mean, we will need email and password in the same style. So, we copy paste it, we change mail here, email here, type also will validate here, email here, and of course, email will be here. If errors that email, we should just get that error that name. Here will be error that email. And the last thing that we'll need to provide, because when we register, we need name, email, and also password. So we'll need password over here. 
we will need to type password, password, name, also password, and ID will be the same, so password. Right there, we'll check if it's errors that password, and we'll just write down error that password over here. And the last thing that we'll need to do is button, and inside that button, if we are inside our form, we need to create type, of course, submit and write down some registration. Okay, and we are ready to go with our EJS file. So take a quick look and we are going back to our index.js. And inside our index.js, we will start to create our schema. So what we would like to have from our Yelp extension. So const schema equals yelp.object dot shape and here we'll provide name dot yap dot string and there will be required and here we'll make name is for example required if we don't provide it. Also we'll need email, email, sorry, because we just write down in that case, it will be yap that string. Also, we can check if it's an email. And if it's not, we'll pass invalid email, email format. And of course, it's required. And email is required. And the last thing that we have to check almost in each situation that we make a registration form is password. And here will be the magic of Yap. So we'll, for example, make a string as always. Of course, we can check the mean length of our password. So we can make eight. And if it's not, we'll pass the message. For example, password must be at least eight characters. Also, if it's passed that test, we need to check if it is. So it password is required. And here we are going with matches. With the thing that every programmers like to do. So I mean rejects. And with that in mind, we will need to get our rejects right there. And to make it easier for you, I will just provide that rejects in the description. So you should just copy it and paste it just over here. And it's our rejects that should match our requirements. And of course, we need to make password must contain at least mm, one uppercase slash lowercase letter and one digit. Okay, we should close it and we are almost ready to go with our application because right now we should use our asynchronous function over here. So we make await and schema and validate. We'll validate our body and we need abort early and false to make it work as we would like to have. And if there is an error, we'll just map inside our errors. So error message equals errors that inner that will just get there and map will just map for error and send search for error that message and with that we should launch our application look if everything's working okay it should work going back over here reload application okay and we've got I have got some kind of 
errors over here because because I make a misstanding there because we need to render not redirect over here. So we will relearn our code, go back, reload, and we've got our registration form. We will try to make it happen. It does not work because errors is not defined inside of there. Okay, because we don't catch errors, but only error. Also, we run, go back, and registration. And as you can see, we've got some kind of problems. Name, email, and I pass their password. So I'll copy here that one and paste. And enter email address, that email, that email. And as you can see, password must contain at least one uppercase lowercase letter that we just write down. So if I make a correct password, that password, that password, that US, for example, I will just make some password. Mm, password one, two, three. That registration not now as i can see registration successfully completed and our application works as it should so that will be all for today episode i hope you enjoy it i hope you like it if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you like it leave a like if you love it leave a subscription and see you in the next episode have a good day bye